Hey guys. Fuck. <clears throat> hey guys, Dr. Methus here back with some more of our Football Manager 23 Wrexham save. I've played all the way to the end of the season. It is the last four games of the season. Count it, four games. We have a race going on at the top of the table right now. We're in the lead, but not by much. So this episode will be none other than the episode that decides the top of the table and then who gets into playoff spots. It's our table to lose. Remember that it's our table to lose and we're going to take a look at that. So here we are. We are at the top with 87 points. Knotts County with 86. Yeovil Town with 84. And Sully Home Moors with 82. So those are the guys. Pretty much a four-way race at the top. Sully Home Moors needs a lot of help to get up. But they're not out of it. To make this even more interesting. We play Knotts County. The first of four games. So that really tells if it's a tie it stays one point if we win we go up to four which means two games which means from that we would have to lose uh we'd have to lose one game and tie or we have the table so this game against knots county is probably the most important one out of the four Knotts County, though, does have a game in hand. So technically in that, if we win out, it doesn't matter. Unless they win out. But they can't win out because, well, we play them. So that's going to be a scenario. Now, how we got here. We left off somewhere around in here with, with Aldershot. Uh, Scunthorpe, we beat... 2-0, Dorking 3-2, Maidenhead 5-3, we tied Dag and Red in South End, which is probably why we're in a tie right now. Dag and Red are towards the bottom, so they are actually 23rd, so that wasn't the greatest. And South End is actually in the mid-table about 16th, so those kind of bit us there. Even a loss to Bromley for 2-1. It didn't, wasn't helpful. Bounce back with York, 4-1. Oldham, 3-2. And then we just lost to FC Halifax, 3-1. Because we rested our starters because we want our starters to go ahead and play against Knotts County. And we are ready for that. Everyone is just about rested. We have two days. Till Knotts County. So we're hoping we can get that and then maybe we can rest a little bit between Barnett. But this one with Knotts County is big. We need a big win. We need to win here, boys. And that's what we're kind of hoping in the meantime. We're also looking at guys up on uh, Harrogate because it looks like the relegation will be uh, Harrogate. We don't know who the second team is. So we've been just pretty much looking at their entire roster at that. And if you're asking me why this looks different, well, we have the new skin. Or, uh, what should we call it? WTCS. Like to sort all of this. Like this, no youth caps, that's good, that's good. Where's the polygon? What do we have down here? We had Let's have career stats here. 
have the polygon here. So we'll have the polygon. I think. Which one's this? This one's reports. I don't think we can have reports here. Oh, squad overview. By comparison, that's the one that's supposed to be there. Now we'll have the polygon here. Because then we can just look at like reports, look at anything through. Kel looks like a great player. So we are going to put him on the short list for yes. We'll kind of go through that. Uh, we are not doing a rotated side. First, we're going to do all of the news things we have. So we are in second. So Knott's County did win that. Jordan Davies is out on injury. Um, I think he's going to be ready to go. Wait, Knotts County hasn't played that game yet. Why did he say the Knotts County? God, so many questions. Wow. How many questions do we have? Like 20? I'm going to say myself. We got everything it takes to get over the line first. It's our division to lose. We're going to press the living hell out of this. Talk to the team. That's right. The team agrees with me that this is our game to lose. All right, team. Let's do it. I really think we can win the rest of them, but this Knox County game is vital. We need to come out with at least a, a tie. We can't lose the game. We have to come in with a tie. We're going to be looking at key moments for the rest of these uh, four games. I don't want to have to deal with a, um, fine you can leave i don't want to deal with a playoff i do bad against playoffs so we're gonna try not to do that the so dalby is good and hasana is good the other two are not like you luke young is not um okay Brought in a couple of players because we needed the subs because of some injuries, but I think we are good. So here it goes. We are ready. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Jordan Davies is back. We'll see an improvement from all of you today. We're still playing this weird four. Uh, I think we got four, one, two, one, two, or four, three, four, three, one, two. 
but they're playing five in the back i've actually had very good luck scoring when they're playing a five back Have to make sure we're gonna go key highlights. There's Lee Mullen rockets it over the net. Going deep here, Mullen plays it up to Lee. Lee taking it down the near side. Looking, it's not there. Jones up. Lee heads it. Osana tries to do it again. Davies takes a shot and it's over. Let's encourage the team. Yeah, they're playing that uh that weird thing that I saw also in stream on my Love Ice Lens playing a defensive midfielder. And Ollie Palmer just wide left. Now Yovel has scored. When that look that is looking so Yovel has scored they're up to 87. So it's a big thing for them. If we lose this, we tie with them. Connor wants to win that. No cross. It's wide right. Okay. Cameron here. Francis Roberts. Can we get something? Davies blocks the shot. Ford steals it. Palmer to Lee. Lee just doesn't have the speed. He crosses it. And there it is. Super Palm Mullen. We take a 1-0 lead. And a weight is lifted off my shoulders. And a new pressure is on to keep this game a 1-0 game. Good finish by Paul Mullen. Hilariously enough, we have two 35-plus goal scorers on the team. We've been nothing but scoring goals so i am happy with that and we're gonna take a look at that yeah Ali palmer is 39 on the season paul mullen has 36 that was his 36th goal just between those two we have close well hell we're over 70 goals we almost have 80 goals at this point between two players palmer off the post lee rebound two nil let's go that's a nice set piece Four points over Yeovil Town now. If we can take this win. While it'd be bad to lose Hayden, this game is more important than anything. And that's hit the post. This post or this game is more important than Hayden. If Hayden gets another yellow card, it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna bring in Dalby because Palmer is absolutely gassed. Um We'll bring in Tozer. Actually, ton of cliff. I'm gonna have ton of cliff play this. No, I'm not. I'm gonna do this. in the middle Davies is a bit out of it so we'll make those changes they go in just before the 75th minute too 
which is nice okay tozer board up to hody hody dalby i don't know how that didn't cross the line i don't know it should have been it should have been but we ride to a two nil win over Knotts County that is big that is big oh that is a big win Yeovil is three points behind us but now we just have to win games that's it just win games and we're all good I'm pleased with the result great great win that was uh that was the sort of match i learned a lot from i do for your game plan uh if you can let yourself be hard breakdown um yeah we, we feel like we can just make the most of our opportunities yes indeed i mean not only paul uh, um he didn't he had two shots on target he was still a pretty good uh, getting through everything through but lee really lifted the rest of the team he has to work hard we're not selling him i'm very pleased with the work done in the practice make sure mentality and quality at the end of the day what's the thinking behind your tactical approach i mean we just play our ability you could have predicted how impressive rob Lant would be in a new role i mean rob is at the club oh sure rob has done well in this new role okay you know the good thing that lee can form yep and lee's playing that position all year all right so i had to put a cut there because uh i played through all of the games and my mic was muted so this game against barnett it's a big one here still three points above yeovil three points i can't believe i actually had that it, it was the funny part is it was a fantastic end of the season too like it was but i want the commentary in there so arnett the team that's in 20th if we can pick this up yeovil plays sully home more so that's that's a big game and Knotts County still has a game in hand. Uh, they play uh, walking. But if we win, it doesn't matter. So. We're going to, I know we're next year. We're going to switch this up. We can't play anything ridiculous like this at the time uh, in the league. So we're going to have to figure out what we're going to play next season. So it's not going to be this. The flip side i think we're good so let's submit the team go forward i just know because i in the stream safe with blah vice lynn like you, you can't when you're at a higher tier of football you certainly can't play anything ridiculous it'll probably be more so something like this with uh lee kind of learning this spot or bringing in someone else besides lee and having mullen be like an inside forward on the wing okay this is a big one we're going to be looking at around the grounds constantly and walking goes up for the one uh one no lead over that's county so that's good we're in our blues here. We here. Hayden wins it in the air. We can't stick with it though. He 
He's off size. Thank you. Thank you. All right, come on, Jordan Davies. Place it in. I don't know how Mullen had the angle. I do not know, but somehow he put it in. Super Paul Mullen. Let's go, baby. How did he fit this? That is a master class of headers up there. That is a master class. So we go up by five over Yeovil. O'Connor putting it in. And Lee with the rebound. Come on, refs. He's on side. Come on, man. No, he wasn't. Bro, there's a little shove. He shoved him off sides. Come on. He shoved him off sides. You can't do that. Nothing in that Yovel game yet. We'll praise the team. Okay. One nil. I mean, we'll take that. Oh God. Encourage. We're up. Why are we encouraging the team? Uh, Knott's County gets one back walking still up. O'Connor here delivers it back post. That's over the net. Palmer is just missing those even more. That's one in the air. Ford. Look, can someone make a run for him? There it is, Lee. He's going to make a run and wide uh, left. That wasn't even close. The walking makes it 3 1. We're going to take our subs here. We are going to put Mullen here. We're going to get Dalby up top. Then I'm going to get Tozer in here and get Tunnicliffe in here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change them to central defenders. So it's a little bit easier. They could play back on the ball as, as opposed to front. Yovel just took the lead over Sully Hole. One nil. One more. There we go. Sosana. Gonna put it in the traffic, and well, that's an easy one for Barry. We like Sully Hole or Sully Hole Moors to actually. Tie it up. I don't know what's going on there, but well, connor has got the ball. That's all that matters. Tozer's looking. He's going to play it up to Dalby. Dalby's not going to win it, but Jones does. Jones running fast through the defense. Running through the defense. Puts in the back of the net. Goal, James Jones. His first of the season. He has had enough of it. I don't know who's uh, river dancing there, but hey, we will take it. Easily over Chesterfield. Chesterfield might be knocked out at this rate if Adler shot gets their act together. That will be the end of the day. We come up 2 0 over Barnett. So easy game. Easy game. It's still three points. We do have seven goals off Yeovil. So I think at the end of the day, we are going to see what we can do. We're concentrating. We don't want to deal with the media. We're not worried about it. We're, we're in the zone. All right, holding the team meeting here. Just one more win, baby. The locker room loves it. All we need. One more win. And if Yovel loses, we have it. But it's probably going to come down to the last game of the season. Because you, you know, 
Football manager likes creating some drama. And we definitely have some drama. We're definitely not the most consistent team. And that's where the drama comes from. This shouldn't even be an argument here at the top of the table. But we've lost some games that we shouldn't have. And now we're here fighting at the top of the table. Good thing is, once you get up into the actual uh, EFL, from there, you it's much easier to advance to not do it. So the board want, thinks we're going to win. The fans want us to win. Everyone wants to win. Let's see if we can give them a win. Uh, Knotts County did win that game that they had in hand. So they're at 89 now, four behind us. They need us to lose twice because I don't think they're going to actually make up that goal differential. But I think they need to win twice and we need to lose once for Yeovil. It's just they have to keep on winning to keep up with us. If we win and they lose, that's it. If we tie and they lose, that's it. So we need a decision here. So for us, we've played Bornham before. Bornham, well, for us, that was back here. And we tied them 1-1. For Knotts County, they're going to play Maidstone in uh, York. So for them, they've beat Maidstone once here. Oh, and they're, they're playing Maidstone again. Uh, and then at York, they beat York the first time, 3-0. So it's possible that Knotts County comes up. Yeovil Town was the other one. So Yeovil Town plays Oldham and Bornham also. So for them, they played Bornham. It was a tie. So that's a big one there. And then the other one which was Oldham, they won 2-0. So, if they lose this game, hey, let's see. Let's go to the Atasco meeting now. Uh, we're playing with positive. That's how we're going to go with. We had injuries to Tozer, which is two to four weeks. Uh, Hottie with two to four weeks. Uh, one of those was twisted ankle and the other one was a twisted ankle. So collision in practice or in the same practice doing physical, uh, running and conditioning stuff. It seems, um, make us, make us champions. So we're not going to play this formation. Like I said, last game. They we're going to go to a 4-2-3-1, which is kind of what they're playing, or a 4-2-2-2. Yeah, 4-2-2-2 with two forwards up top instead of there being an attacking mid. So we're going to just keep on the around the grounds. We're in our reds today, which is... Sometimes a boat of bad luck this year. And that's why. Okay. Hold on. Don't step up. Let's lower the line of engagement. Um, one thing we will also do is when we do this. I want you to be central defenders. Keep the ball in front of you. We don't need risks. Just be smart. Mullen wins that in the air, but Lee gives it away. Good field switch, but Husana is there. Playing it through Palmer. Palmer is going to stick with it. Jones, Hayden. Going to play it up. Play it up again. Play it up again. Palmer to Lee. 
it's in there let's go that's the 50th league goal for lee and yeovil is up one to nil over oldham so it might go to the last game Mind you, if we win this game, though, I don't think that Yeovil Town is going to put up six goals. It's possible, but I don't think they will. It becomes highly unlikely as we score more and more goals. Which, if we could just win this, it would be comfortable. Lee takes it, and it bounces right off the chest or the face of the keeper. I would be... I would feel... Ooh... Oval's going to close that gap, if anything. It's down to five. That seems a bit more reasonable for them. Ford looking, going down the line to Lee. Lee, no one's in the middle. He's got to play it back. There's Jones. Looking takes a shot Ricochets off the keeper or the bar one of the two can't really tell Okay, Andre going back post over the net Thank God Okay. I think we can find another gear to take charge. I think we do. Chesterfield's fighting to stay up there. Adler shots trying to come back, but I think if Chesterfield, no, they're not going to make up that gap. Chesterfield has to lose that game. And Knott's County is getting beat. Oh, I don't think Mullen's even going to try to get that, but Lee can get that one. He'll play it back. Another boot up. Davies is there. Cross. Palmer. Score. His 40th goal of the season. Let's go. Let's go. I'm loving this. I'm loving it right now here. No panic. You can, you, there's no panic in my voice we are cool at the other side of the pillow i would say that all was it Stuart scott he would say that that's how i feel a ton of cliff there Five subs, we get promoted. You would say that with uh, if someone was sinking threes in basketball. They would sink it and be like, in a big moment. Those were the days of ESPN and sports. Just watching Stuart Scott. Sports that are sports highlighted like 12 at night when it, when it would be on because it would run at like 10 and it'd have a couple of reruns. So, in case you missed it, wow, that's a great pass over to Newton. And Newton has the speed. Wow, why are we diving there? It bounces off the back. I think that's technically Hayden. Wasn't turned around, just bounced right off his back. Okay, I am confident. Let's go. Let's go. We are coming through when it counts. We are coming through when it counts. Which is 
at the end of the year that's when it counts okay so we know who everyone plays easily secured their spot let's do the press conference hopefully it's not a, a, an hour long he hasn't conceded a goal in 281 minutes Ooh. okay only three questions i can take that he didn't like the refereeing i don't know my guy it was a win for us the easily is playoff bound the only one is chesterfield uh i don't think that's even remotely goal differential possible so chesterfield's in so pretty much the only thing that can change is Sully Home Moors and Alt. And Chesterfield, if they win and easily loses, they could take over that spot. But at the end of the day, what is that? They play Alt. I wouldn't necessarily say that's a good thing for them. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think he, he can amount to much, to be honest. Liverpool and Chelsea in the FA Cup. The okay, next thing I have to look before I make a cut is I want to show you guys what I am doing. Oops. League two. So we were looking at all of Harrogate Town, Rochdale. We started doing the same thing of scouting all of their players. They're the ones that are going to be relegated down. So we can pretty much look at whoever we want. To see who is decent and who is not. So I think we're still kind of doing that with a couple of players. And then it moves over to Rochdale. On the flip side. We need to look at our table. And see if there's anyone that we care about getting. All right, Palmer is rallying the troops. We are going to rally the troops as well. We are going to encourage the boys. One point. That's all we need. One point. We're not going to worry about the media. We're not worried about that. We'll talk to the media after the game. We are in the zone. That's what we are. We are in the zone. Okay. Our last bit of training before the year is done. Unless we uh, somehow aren't here. Which is gold differential. which is six. So we just need to score goals and we're fine. If we lose by three and they win by four or we get absolutely blown out, it could spell very bad. But the balls in our court, just score the goals, win the game. worry about that later all right so we have one more injury and elliot lee he's out for 11 days or three weeks so I means dj buffon's just going to come in and he's going to be the one on the outside if we need to we can go to a um, a simpler
a simpler bit if we want to play a four two 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 but this is what we're gonna play i feel confident in it it's got us this far let's do let's do it we're playing a three four or actually a five two one two okay five two one two we're not reds the food just there plays the connor is over to Ford. The Davies back to Ford. The cross is open. Palmer misses the header. Well, that is not good. And there goes Jovel. They got one goal. It's up to Mullen, but he just doesn't have. The burst to get there. Hayden wins that. We're not going to get it in the middle. Good win. Not the greatest clear that's out of there. We're forcing the keeper to clear it so we're, we can win it. Ford plays it up. Mullen has it off the bounce. Volleys it off the bounce. Okay. We'll take it. And at that rate, it doesn't matter what Yovel does. We got it. On the flip side, Dorking is playing uh, Schoonthorpe. And Barnett is playing Dag and Red. So Barnett's trying to save his season. And Dorking's just trying not to be pushed down there. Ford going back side of that. And that is a header missed. Chesterfield's, of course, going to stay up. That's halftime. Okay, I'm on the edge of my seat right now. Literally. Dagon Red is up on Barnett. Looks like Barnett is going to be relegated down. Come on, O'Connor. That has some curve on it. Okay. Doesn't matter though. We're going to make the subs. So a ton of cliff is going to come in. James Jones. Let's get in young. And then for the first time this season, let's, let's get in Sinclair. He's going to retire next month anyway. So I think we saw a report where he's going to retire. Let's get him. Give him some minutes before he does. All up. Rob Lanton still doing work. Palmer Mullen. Mullen. Back to Mullen. Ba wow. That was just a bong bong ping pong all over the place. Okay. Barnett has tied it, but it doesn't matter because Dorking has tied their game. Dorking is winning their game actually over Scunthorpe. And here it is. Full time. Lifting the trophy. Wrexham has finally got out of non-league. Finally gotten out of non-league. And here it is. Handing it. And we are ready. 
Get ready. Let's go. Vanarama National League title is to Wrexham. 15 years down in the Vanarama National League. And finally getting back to the league. That's just one step. That is the one step to the journey to the Premier League. Now we have to figure out a way to conquer Skybet League 2 and go from there. We did it. We are champions. Do not start singing the song. Because I'm terrible at singing. We are the champions. Let's go. Hilariously enough, it went to complete utter chaos when I didn't have my microphone on. Okay. So that we have here, there was nobody who could really stand in our way. Sealed the Vanderham national title. Absolutely delighted. I'll probably need to add the title to it. Absolutely delighted. I'm just ready to get out of non-league. Title race was a close thing. Nobody was quite sure. There were a few moments where I looked like it was going to slip away from us. Venom National. So the board and the fans are going to be even more demanding. So I thrive under this sort of pressure. Today is a great moment for Rexham, but looking forward, can you build on the success? I think this team is capable of going on and becoming a real force. What's the impact of your pep talk? Um, everyone's already ready to get the job done. What, uh, and what was labeled the biggest match? Um, I'm delighted we got the victory. People will be already turning their thoughts the next season. Um, we're gonna be aiming high and see where it takes us. How important was your strong run of form in August? Ooh. Were we really that strong in August? Let's look at this. I didn't think we were, but. I mean, three, four wins. We went four and two. I thought September was the bigger month in February. And then we finished it in April with only one loss. I thought those were bigger ones than anything. Definitely helped. I'm happy, but not satisfied. I was pleased the coach appears to be on course to realize the long-term goals. It's just a start as far as I'm concerned. We got much more to do. Okay, initial budget. Okay, payroll for Mr. Ryan Reynolds, 6.76 million. We got an extra couple million. Transfer budget is 64,000. But 100% of it is made available to us. Plus we get a parachute payment. I believe we get a parachute payment. From the league. I think. 250. It's not a lot, but it's something. Uh, one thing I also want to look at this is in performance. No, it's in supporters. That last match was at home, right? It was away. Home. Home, we were at 9,000. That is max for the stadium, right?
No, we can't actually. At any point, are we looking at maxing that? 6,000? I might just look at finances between episodes. Our entire income of the season was 6 million. Our expenditure was 8.6. How many of that was off buying players? We didn't buy players. That's right. We sold some players, which didn't amount to much. Okay. Um, I might need a bit more money. Maybe. Okay. Wars delighted, of course. Clubs, uh, the supporters are. Okay, we're crown champions. We're still looking at other players that we can maybe buy. I don't think with how much money we actually have, I don't think we're going to be able to make anything big. He doesn't have one. Okay, let's see what the end of season review is before we end it. Being up in the league now. Climbing out of non-league. That's nice. It's very nice. I'm happy. Here it is. Okay, our end of season review. So we brought in Enoch Asante from Tottenham. Was uh, hurt. He got hurt. I think he's still technically hurt. What was his injury? It was a damaged spine. He was out for four months. He's just getting back into the groove of things and the board does like uh, that move. Uh, Owulu, 250K from Weldstone. And the board was happy with that. Well, he transferred into what, Doncaster? Yeah, he came from Doncaster for 250. Which is great because at this point he's almost double in value. Lee comes in from uh, Luton. Dalby, we didn't do that one. Uh, Hody comes in from Dundee United. That was a free transfer with that. Which was nice. Buffoons comes in. That was a free transfer. Uh, Matty Lund, that was a 35K. I mean, that was a good stopgap. St. Clair was a free, Campbell's a free, Henderson was a free, and the rest of them kind of a free. Our transfers out. Not really worried about a lot of our transfers out. They don't like that double transfer out. The loan out, I felt like a lot of the loans were pretty good. Uh, the board can say otherwise because we should have got more. Um, that's veteran national league. Obviously we win the, the title. So Board's happy with that Top goal scorer for Wrexham was Ollie Palmer with 40 goals FA Cup we're bounced out in the first round against Sutton United, but hey It happens and well board is happy The FA trophy they didn't really care about that. We lost to William United Board didn't really care about that title anyway. They wrote it off. 
Biggest win, that 5-1 win over Maidenhead. Palmer had three goals. Mullen had two. Best to remember, a 3-2 win over Oldham. Again, Palmer with two. Mullen with one. And goal of the season, though, is a top drawer goal from O'Connor. And a 5-2 win over Wildstone. I know new sponsorships this season. Reputation hasn't changed. We're still regional. Uh, sponsorship 335, 28.93. Nothing crazy with that. Best day at retail, just under a million dollars. Of course, everyone likes Muller and uh, Mullen and Palmer, but you have Campbell, Lee, and Davies in there. This is how we lined up. We're not going to be lining up like this next season because that's silly. Um,. We won the national head coach for September and February. We'll likely win it for the season. Palmer with 40 goals. He's also the fans player of the season. The young player of the season is Jordan Davies. Signing of the season, Joseph Owolu. A goal of the season when we saw it with O'Connor. Most assists, Paul Mullen with 12. Most man of the matches, 16 for Palmer. Highest rated average, 7.5 for Palmer. Um, most shutouts in the season. Rob Lanton had nine shutouts. Um, that's crazy. Worst discipline. Aaron Hayden had ten yellow cards. Okay. Sam Dalby scored a goal in the fastest time ever. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds into the game. Youngest goal scorer was Enoch Asante. And oldest goal scorer were Ben Tozer. So. Wrexham will every day do a fantastic start the season. The, that kickstarted their assault on a promotion from Lee Pickles. I like Pickles. I like Lee Pickles. He likes me. Okay. Top of the table, baby. Dynamic coach uh, timeline. Alex Akers. Got some development. Jalen Wyabor. Pat Evans. Um, Joseph Alawalu for 250k. This one for Daniel Robinson. Ray Fed James. Crown champions there. Brennan Musto comes in from a signing. Rexham finished with 99 points. The season set a new Vanaramet national record. Okay. New record in the league. Was we still lost followers for winning? Okay, play attacking soccer, play direct soccer. Hmm. They want a top half finish. Hmm. Can I not have a Can I not have a Attacking soccer. Very well. The board says Brian Reynolds says you will play attacking soccer. Okay. I will. Okay. Um, I'm going to strengthen the squad. Um, oh, we can.
I'm a cliff. You're not even gonna be here Get out of here Are you actually gonna be here? Let's see is he actually gonna be here? He will be here But he will be sold Okay So that will be it that will be the end of the episode and the end of season one. I mean, I kind of figured we could do it. Got a little hairy there at the end, but hey, we pull through slow and steady wins the race. Rob Lanton not letting goals in wins the race. And so that will be that. So we'll see who gets promoted next season. We still have to look at some of those guys and I'm going to do the summer transfer window stuff off camera and then we will come back and i will show you all the moves that we did in that and we'll gear up and get ready for season two so thank you all for joining me i know this week uh this one will be for kind of wednesday thursday we won't have any rec some stuff on thursday or friday it must be that time to go through the summer transfer window and we'll be back with more rec some on monday so thanks for hanging out Go leave a like below, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Later.